One thing you might want to do when you output your videos is to put your logo at the bottom of the videos. This is quite good for hiding your tripod or hiding you with your hands in the air holding the camera. It's quite simple to do, but you've got to follow the instructions precisely to get the best results. So what I would do is take my one of my photos or a still from the video and bring it into Photoshop. This will give you the right size of image to deal with to start off with. Once you've got the image in, put your create your logo, mark out the center of the image or the video and put the circle bang right in the middle. Now what you can do is you can turn off your background because that was just used as a guide. Take this logo, now what you want to do is turn it upside down. So transform, rotate 180. The whole thing is flipped around 180. Now what you want to do is scale it. Scale the image and you want to scale the height of it. So it's the height only, not the width. You want to make sure it's not length. Go to height, 50%. Hit OK. Now, go up to distort, polar coordinates. Brings up your polar coordinates box. You can zoom out, you can see how it messes up the logo. Now what you want to select is polar to rectangular and it flips it like this. Click OK. Now what it's done is it's taken the image and stretched it in some kind of crazy way across the top of the image. This would be fine if you want a logo at the top of your image, but you don't, you want a logo at the bottom of your image. So, go back to transform again, rotate the image 180 degrees, like that, hit OK. Now what you want to do is take it down right to the bottom of the screen. So from here, you've got your logo distorted across the bottom of the screen in a strip. What you could do is you could bring your image back in here and you want to make sure that anything that is you or a tripod is covered over by this strip. So in this case, me holding up a monopod with the camera at the top, when I cover it over, I'm covered over. So hide this layer again. Output your image. Export as a transparent PNG. In Premiere or After Effects or whatever video software you're using, you overlay this over the top of it and when you output that video when it's viewed in a 360 viewing program you'll see this as a circular logo at the bottom.